Just as you guys have been grinding out the daily, I have been doing the same deal from the Widening Grier, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, yay to me. <laughs> but uh, today we are going to take a closer look at the revolutionary space set. Channel subscription is also available on my awesome channel. If you want to support the content that I'm making and me personally, this is how you can do this. So this entire space set is coming out of the event that we are currently uh, still doing so far. We still have a couple of days. Uh, if you haven't started it yet, uh, there is this special event going on, the Widening Dryer. Um, like I said, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, you're going to get the daily reward from doing the TFO Synthwave or the episode The Partisans or just Partisans. And you're going to get the reward from the daily right here. Now, I just finished mine and um, I got the entire space set up here. So you're going to get the uh, shield, the impulse engine, deflector, the singularity core for the Romulans and the normal warp core for the Federation aligned. Uh, I don't know what the Klingons are going to get, but Klingons probably going to get like, you know, their own version of these items. So they're currently packed. I'm going to unpack them, go all the way to like more details and, you know, see if we are going to get um, any visuals. I don't know if there's going to be any visuals to this. Let's see if we can upgrade them. Yes, we can. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to copy my character over to triple and level these things all the way up and see what kind of, um, you know, re-engineering customization we can do on these shields, get some other mods and stuff like that on top of them so i'll be right back so i leveled all of these items up to their max potential these are like mark 15 epic gold quality so let me see if we can re-engineer yes we can so we have the potential power capacity regen uh, regenerative uh disruptor phaser uh, plasma tetron, polaron, and antiproton resistance. I'm guessing all three, all four, all four of them. Oh, wow. And also, the last one is going to be uh, res all A or B. Now, I don't know what A and B is. There is like a A and B is like some kind of like mismatch. Uh, between like a couple of them um, so if you really want to do that that is available for your uh, for your shield uh, to have that it is currently up um, you know what let me just change it and see where it comes so that's res a and res a is going to give us uh, all right so disruptor phaser polaron and tetrion um, hopefully we're going to get now oh, that's the one that we already had um uh, reduces the structure damage to shield. All right, that's good. Res B, that's something that I was hoping for. So we got disruptor, disruptor, plasma, and antiproton as well. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's interesting. Let me see if we can get res all. Res B, we already had that one. Res all. Here we go. Uh, res all is reduces all energy damage to shield by 10 percent okay okay that's interesting uh so here we go we got a little bit of statistics over here now do keep in mind that every um number that you guys are going to see is based upon my character and as you guys know my character has no skills attached to her at any given time so this is just like the uh, the flat out um uh, statistics i do have a couple of traits and like consoles and stuff like that is definitely going to enhance that but not a lot not um as you guys uh might find interesting now this is a covariant shield so covariant shields have like the highest amount of hit points uh to them um not a lot of shield regeneration for every six seconds and also plus 10 percent direct energy weapon damaged okay and also reduces uh disruptor damage to the shield by 20 percent so that's that's interesting that's definitely interesting um disruptor can we can we see if we can make something else happen tetron so also tetron this was 20 percent yes it is 20 percent okay nice now we do have 
times three re, uh, regeneration. So that's why you have that high amount of regeneration over there at um, at default. Now, unfortunately, we don't have some kind of like um, res all that we have like here. So it is kind of kind of interesting, but then again, not really. Uh, all right, so let's see the um, the combat engines. So we got auxiliary, uh, full impulse, speed, or turn. Okay, so we can change all of that. I'm kind of liking it to be like the way it is, because it kind of raises everything. And with my particular uh, ship need, you're definitely going to need to turn a little bit faster. Um, so you have, what is, what is, what is that? I, I don't know. Uh, okay. So you have the, the um, speed times two, and I don't know what sec is. Sec, sec, sec. Is that like when thrusters, when engines are disabled, is it that? I don't know. Let me just see what changes. Turn and speed. And yeah, that's about it, basically. Yep. And randomize it again. No, that's the one that we have. Yep, that is that is the the engines. Uh, now I'm going to go over the the space sets um, in its entirety in a second. So the two pieces, the three pieces, the four pieces. If we're going to get a little bit of change in that. So this is the deflector dish. These are the potential modifications that you can have. EPG, drain, shield capacity, shield, heal, or hull capacity. Uh, all of three of these slots, all four of them, sorry, can have like the potential times four if you're going for that. Uh, maybe like shield two and hull two could be interesting. And the fifth one is basically a mismatching in both of them wow that's this might be interesting for some of you guys hmm all right the um yeah okay so the warp core cannot be modified at all bummer 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 all right let me see if we can put up um the shields do we have uh visuals on this uh, I'm not seeing any new visuals. This is just the default uh, Zenkethi skin. So there is also another way. Disable visuals is not here, so they don't offer us new visuals. Um, the engines might have um, an engine trail. Uh, nope, I'm not seeing an engine trail. And I'm also not seeing the option to... Uh, change anything uh, neither does the deflector dish so we don't have any uh, different visuals on these things uh, and this is the warp core all of them together let me see um, more details all right so that is the statistics about the um, the warp core that we just uh, have no, the deflector dish, sorry. So the two pieces is uh, going to give you the house, the house, <laughs> the house Mokai science and X amount of all damage resistance rating versus foe in the forward 90 degree arc, uh, flight to turn rate and exotic damage, critical severity, scales with starship weapon amplification. So to exotic builds, so basically like science and stuff like that. Definitely interesting for you guys up here. Um, Starship weapon amplification that is going to improve the critical hit severity with you know, traditional weapons. Uh, the third piece is set if you have like three pieces of this thing. We do what we must. Allow activation of the uh, weaponized mycelium emitters. That's probably a clicky. An X amount of radiation damage up to 10 foes in a 10 kilometer cylindrical in, for in front of the ship. Oh, okay. Summons a machinery that pulls nearby foes towards its center and deals an X amount of kinetic base damage that is going to ignore the shields. You fall within five within five kilometers of um, each second before collapsing after eight seconds. Oh, eight seconds? That's not a lot. Uh, so EPG and control expertise 
to enhance these ability and uh, if you have all four of them because we can starship hull capacity and critical chance by 3.8 percent and upgrades the upgrades the weaponized mycelium emitter to increase damage increase rift duration and rift can summon allied alachi ships all oh, this is something that we are definitely going to get in combat so um let me do that real quickly just find out where that special um functionality is those are just all of the things that i have you know what let me cut the video and i'll be right back so here is the activatable clicky the weaponized mycelium emitter it's not available in the social zones uh unfortunately so you kind of need to be in combat or in some kind of like map that there's going to be combat it's kind of interesting that they do that uh, and they don't allow us to, you know, uh, random activate really nearly all of these abilities because it does add up to the lag of the service. But anyway, focused on exotic ener uh, energies from the... To wow. Focus the exotic energies of my cellular spores into weaponized uh, explosion... Expulsion? Of radiation damage the emissions caught by the blast are uh, sufficient to tear holes into the mycelial realm resulting in a damage rift forming at the target epicenter fortunately this rift uh, destabilizes quickly and will collapse after a short time enemies caught in the uh, enemies caught in the collapse will suffer additional kinetic damage from the explode explosive force of the uh, dimensional collapse all right, all right. A lot of mumbo jumbo right there. That's interesting. Uh, so, X amount of radiation damage up to 10 foes in a 10 kilometer cylindrical in front of the ship. Someone must see the rift that pulls nearby foes towards its center, dealing X amount of kinetic damage to foes within 5 kilometers before collapsing after 16 seconds. Uh, Someone three large uh, jumper allies uh, from the rift for 15 seconds. Activating exotic grants 4%. That's not part of it uh da, 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 da. okay so let me do a patrol real quickly i believe our gala is all the way to the end there we go wanted um and activate this thing now hopefully we're going to get some kind of like really cool visuals and not just the normal um you know mycelial spawn that we normally get when joula fires her weapon hopefully we're going to get something a little bit better a little bit like you know more eye candy if 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 that's a word for it uh and also i'm kind of interested to see that explosion like how does the mycelial um rift actually explode because we only see it collapse and then you know in our missions when we actually you know go to the mycelial uh rift and we close it we just see it like you know folding in and that's it so that's going to be interesting i'm going to activate it right here on this guy i'm not going to mess around with these guys here we go um, it said in front of the ship within 10 kilometers. Oh, that guy. All right, that guy then. Here we go. Three, two, one, active. Oh, oh, it's, it's okay. Okay, I cannot move. It is basic. Ooh. Oh, nice. And it's pulling him backwards. It's pulling him backwards. He is suffering. Oh yeah, he is suffering. And then, and then, and then, what happens? Oh, okay. I was expecting a big explosion. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, all right. Um, I believe the cooldown for this thing is a little bit long. I thought it was like um, two minutes. It is three minutes. Wow. Okay. Why is it two minutes? Because I have all of the uh, space sets. Um, how much is it normally? Weaponize, it doesn't say. Because it does, nah, okay. I'm not seeing any other abilities right here on my, um, you know, abilities bar. To show you guys, these are just, you know, the standard stuff that I have. Um, let me just make sure... And I still want to fire it again, but then I have to wait like two minutes for it to uh, to be active again. So it's 
it's kind of interesting but then again it's not it's kind of like it builds up in in like i'm actually need to need to um see how long it's basically going to build up before it actually fires um because if if enemies actually see you do this or at least players see you do this in pvp i'm talking about right now they're basically going to move out of this thing so they're going to counter your 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 special abilities and now i understand that enemies are not going to be that smart to actually move out of the the area because i could not turn my ship around it was like facing this way and i could not i could not move it like sideways i could not do you know banking so and the three minute cooldown oh, man it's it's a lot um i don't have gravity well maybe i can switch over like um take like gravity well and just hold these guys up together up here and then use this as an ability that might actually be you know something interesting and then just hold these guys up there because this guy it basically took uh was it this guy it took like half of his health um so that might be interesting and like i said i'm not buffing this thing at all at any given time so i'm going to try to uh grab these guys you know what i'm going to do it on the on the next um the next group because these guys are a little bit too far away uh too far apart or maybe not they're coming together though all right here we go um gravity will on this guy and then here we go one two three four five okay so it took like about five seconds to build and there is the okay so it definitely killed this guy but then my gravity will is not um doesn't have enough force to pull this guy inwards and that's it that is that's how it's how it looks um nothing more to say about these things um definitely interesting for for science uh, i'm just gonna aggro these guys maybe the shield facing has like some kind of like interesting uh animation to them nope just the standard stuff what is this word okay it's interesting i don't know what kind of buff this is what gave me this buff discreator all right discretion word discretion all right mm hmm you had looks like our fight got them to notice us let's go over and ask if their boss might come out of are a little bit too far away here we go but there you go like the two minute is such like such drag <laughs> I wish it was a little bit shorter than the two minutes. Because this is just, you know, you kind of want to use it over and over again. Because, oh, my shields are offline. And they came back online. So I'm not seeing anything new visually. This is just another space set. I definitely recommend to everybody to get this uh, space set. Because it is going to be... Um, at the end is going to be like you know a count unlock for for all of your characters um and there aren't a lot of like a count unlock um you know space sets for for your entire account so you basically when you are leveling up a new tune um you're going to be able to equip these all of these um for your you know for your endeavors that you're going to do to to you know for the story arc that you're going to get through like all of these guys up here you basically have like the best items already uh when you are leveling up your tunes so definitely worthwhile doing you still have a little bit of time when this video is going to come out if you haven't done so you know to get started there is always that buy up buy out option that you have um there should be here right here buy out uh currently grayed out because i already have the set but if you're not going to get, you know, the full 20 day, you can have, a, you can have like a couple of days to, uh, you know, to, so you miss out and you can basically buy out those couple of days. And I believe this space set after a certain amount of time is definitely going to be in the MUDS market at a high price for all of the new players that you guys have to play 
and pay uh, to obtain this space set. Um, interesting space set. Definitely interesting to say the least. Uh, it is free for us that are doing the, you know, the dailies. So I'm not saying it is bad. I am saying it is good. Grab it if you can. Uh, unfortunately, no visuals with this thing. It was kind of like, um, I'm not really fond of, you know, the different visuals that Cryptic is making these days because there are already too many in the game because it's, you know, it's it's a good thing that they're basically taking a break from making visuals with, uh, with each and every new ship that they are putting out. But anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys had a little bit of fun entertainment knowledge coming out of it. And I would love to see you guys on the next one. Take care. Later.